What's up guys, Seha Man back with another review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, Batman Unmasked, Thomas Wayne, and the Hell Bat, the gold variant version. I found both of these at Walmart. Now, I think these are hitting targets and... Um, the, I think this one's on pre-order still for GameStop, uh, the Hellbat, but you can these are all up for pre-order still. The, as far as Thomas Wayne goes and the Hellbat, you can find them at uh, the tar uh, Target's uh, website. They're up for pre-order, but the thing with Target is sometimes they don't ship right away, like the street date. Um, my Batman Beyond one is barely coming after, I don't know when it was supposed to be, when, when it was supposed to be shipped, because a lot of people already got theirs. But um, yeah, so you can find these in store, or you can pre-order them to save you from having to fight the scalper. So we're going to take a look at these and do some comparisons with the regular versions as well. So we have the gold Hellbat, and I love these. I love the gold variants. It's similar to what McFarlane used to do with the spawn figures. He used to give us gold variants of his um, of his characters. So on the back, oh, actually the side's really cool, because it does read hell bat and, and it has the gold edition written in gold and then right here on the back you have a really awesome photo of the hell bat and then other figures from the new wave i definitely want to get gorilla grod bizarro the john stewart um flash i might pass on that injustice version but i definitely want those so there's hell bat right there and then we have Thomas Wayne Unmasked. I do have the regular version one of this. And then you have the DC Multiverse Batman Unmasked there. You come to the back and then there is a the comic book cover. And then right here on the back, you have the other figures from the Wave, which I actually own all of these except... Who do not, I don't own this, this version right here of this uh, Batman. I forgot what her name is. It is Batman Earth 2... I forget, I can't read it. It's a small print. I forgot that one. It's from the Dark Knight Metals. But that's it for these. Let's open them up, take a close look, and we're going to see if these variants are a pickup or a pass. All right, guys. So we're going to take quick looks at these. So both figures come with your standard DC multiverse, little black base that reads DC on there with a the little peg. And then they both have their cards. So the Batman, you do get Thomas Wayne Batman. You do get the, the card right here. Now, I think it's the same exact one as the previous one they didn't give it like a gold foil like because since it is a variant now do you guys collect these cards or you just toss them let me know down below i collect them because if you guys don't know i have a big comic book card collection so you get that one and then you have the hellbat now the hellbat is actually it's not a comic book image it's the figure itself that they got in a really cool pose so that's something new this is an actual card of the figure so that is something that different from McFarlane's uh, little cards because usually it's like a comic book image so you have that right there and then as far as Hellbat he only the only come with uh, other than the base you get the wings and similar to the previous Hellbat um, it, they open up just like that you peg it to the back and then it's got like these red trims on there so that is pretty awesome I love the gold on this so you have these here again they do open up let me see here there you go just like that so we'll peg it into him in a second uh the batman thomas wayne he does come with two handguns and these are pretty much the same ones as the previous version of thomas wayne batman that we got before so you get two handguns there and then you the difference is now you get a sword so i'll show you guys a close-up on the handle so it looks cool you got some really nice detail here and then there's the blade now this is very very soft rubber i mean look at this this whole thing here is look at that it's just really really soft rubber not complaining but it's just i mean you got to feel it to see what i'm talking about but those are all the accessories okay so first off we are going to take a look at hellbat and let me tell you guys something this guy in this color just looks insane this he just looks so much better compared to the previous one i mean again it's the same exact sculpt the only thing is he's covered in gold and everything that because everything that was black is gold and everything that is red is still red so they they kind of gave him a little bit of a mix match there um the shoulder pads are soft rubber material i'm not going to go over the articulation um because i've done all that before but i just wanted to show you close-ups on him because this guy just looks incredible i like how he looks even without the wings but there's a back shot of him here so let's go ahead and peg his wings on him so it's pretty simple for the most part to peg these in let's see i'll get this one in here too and then they are articulated you guys saw that in the in earlier in the video but you can like get these to go like flare out just like that look how great this looks right and you can fold them in too to avoid you know too much shelf space on these and you can have them kind of down just like that i mean this guy i mean i don't know what you how you guys feel about paint variants but i absolutely love this let me bring out the regular version now 
He's missing his shoulder pad, his other wing, and the only reason is because I, guys, I'm moving and I'm putting stuff in storage. So I had to, I packed him up and I had to take him out of storage and some of his accessories fell off. But there is a little bit of a comparison with the two of them right here. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you prefer the black version or the gold version? I mean, I still think they're both awesome. And I'll give you guys some back shots here of the wings. I mean, the gold one looks just, I think the gold one looks better. But I mean, either way, they both look awesome. We're going to take a look at Thomas Wayne batman unmasked what do you guys think about that look that head sculpt there he's got a little bit of a stubble there he kind of looks like he has a little chubby face what do you guys think looks like a chubbier version i mean overall it's the exact same figure let me go ahead and bring out the thomas wayne batman there is no difference whatsoever even the weapons are exactly the same the only difference you're going to get with him is the head sculpt that's it other than that he is exactly the same figure i mean plus you get the sword so i mean this one this guy here i'm obviously going to display this version of batman with the sword because the other one has the guns so there you go so we got that in his hand it's like kind of like a little bit, little bit of an oversized sword but it still looks great but what do you guys think about the head sculpt though i'm kind of iffy on it i don't know i think it looks decent the hair looks great one thing that bugs me about what mcfarlane is doing and he's doing it with the justice league figures as well does the snyder cut versions so for cyborg there's going to be a variant version where he has the help or the mask on or helmet whatever you want to call it and then for batman there's going to be a variant where he's unmasked one thing i forgot to mention is that you can see the cowl somewhat you can make out the ears for sure but the cowl is pulled back so i forgot to mention that there so there is a little bit of um the cowl that you can see that he just pulled it over his head there but there is a little bit of a size or side comparison and like i said there's no real difference in the outfit and the paint apps it's exactly the same sculpt you just get a different head sculpt and the sword and there you have it guys there is my review today we're taking a look at the variants of thomas wayne batman unmasked and we have the gold hell bat now i did again i picked these up at walmart but you can find these at target um, I believe they're both up for pre-order at GameStop. Uh, for sure, the gold Hellbat is. And if you want to pick up the regular version of Batman, the, the mass version, you can go to BigBatToyStore.com. They got a tons of new Batman McFarlane figures up for pre-order right now and in stock. So use my li link in the description down below, guys. It does help the channel out. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Is this going to be a pickup? Is it a pass? Do you own the regular versions of these? And if so... Are you going to go pick these ones up? Let me know, guys, down below. So far, I love McFarlane's, what he's coming out with. The Mortal Kombat figures, the um, Batman figures. I don't pick up any of the other figures that he makes, but I'm loving the Batman stuff. And he's got he's pumping out so many figures right now. It's really hard to keep up, but I'm super hyped to have this one in the collection. Again, it's kind of a disappointment that it's just... He only comes with a sword and an and unmasked head sculpt. It would have been cool if he just included these accessories in the regular Batman Thomas Wayne figure. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. We'll see you soon. Don't believe.